The overall goal of this microbiological imaging method is to provide a more descriptive means to distinguish the phenotypic effects of pharmacological treatment. So this method can really help in the area of infectious diseases, specifically looking at the morphological effects of certain antibiotics and how it kills C. difficile. The main advantage of this technique is that it combines high resolution imaging with in vitro cell culture techniques to provide detailed outlook of pharmaceutical killing action. The implication of this technique may extend towards uh, therapy for clostridium difficile infection or CDI in short. The reason is this technique may provide a mean for identifying how an antibiotic may be beneficial in treating CDI. Though this method can provide insight into pharmacological action, it can also be applied to other systems such as mixed culture model or in vivo animal studies. Generally, individuals struggle with this new method because culturing C. difficile and operating a scanning electron microscope is challenging. We first had the idea for this method when we were trying to distinguish between different antibiotics modes of actions. I'd like to introduce you to the research team that you'll meet today. Jahangir Alam is a professor and microbiologist. He coordinates all the lab activities that you'll see today. Uh, Tasnova Rashid is a graduate student in the lab. She does a lot of the day-to-day -day microbiology. Eugenie Basser is a postdoc fellow. She really has taught Tesnova many of the skills and also assists in the lab. Brad Endress is another postdoc in the lab. He'll do a lot of microscopy with the help of Long Chang. To prepare environmental isolation,